Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to show you the results of my pruning experiment. This tree right here, this is not related to the pruning experiment, but this tree had that elm back there, a big branch from that, it was actually right on top of this. It broke and broke the top off of this tree. And I went up there with a piece of conduit. I had my tall ladder here, kind of dangerous. And I zip tied, I pulled the branch straight up and I zip tied the conduit to the tree and to the branch to hold that branch straight up like that. And I left it on for about maybe 10 months and now that little branch it was pretty darn small maybe a foot and a half long it's now about eight feet long and it's the new top of the tree if i wouldn't have did that this tree would have started growing sideways it would have started growing wide and we can't have a wide tree here i wanted a tall tree and I'm going to be pruning these lower branches off later in this year, which brings us to our experiment. I had seen on YouTube videos where people were saying that you should leave the collar. This is the collar right here. You should leave the collar on the tree and do your pruning at an angle along the collar. I think they said that it heals better that way. And I positively know that that's not a fact. I made three prunes. Oh, that was about a year and a half ago. This one was flush with the tree. This one was flush. Plus I took a little bit of sandpaper and sanded the edges. And this one had that collar cut. And you can see the collar cut one is still open. And every time it rains, it fills up, it has like a, a natural pocket when you do that, and it fills with water. And on a red oak like this, that can easily start rotting the tree out. Not a good way to prune a tree. I would never go along the collar like that. I always prune flush like this. That is a beautiful scar and it's gonna disappear in not too long. This is gonna be on there, who knows? It's gonna take three, four years before that heals up properly. And this one is just more of the same. This healed up within, oh, probably three months, but we had a big drought last year, so these took a little bit longer, but you can see how nice that scar is. On a bigger branch, say a three or four inch branch, something like this can take many years to heal up, while one like this is gonna heal up in a year or two. I have another tree behind the house. I believe I showed that in the other video, but I'll show you again, and you'll be able to see what it looks like on a bigger branch like that. And the one that was cut flush like that looks beautiful. And the one that was cut with a collar cut is still healing. Here's a quick look at that top scar. The big stuff you see towards the bottom, that's where I cut off the top. And you can see where the branch was bent upwards. Okay. We got a big variety here. We have a flush cut right here that is starting to disappear. The bark will actually cover it up after a while. Same with this one here. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. This is a flush cut as well. And this is gonna do the same thing that those two are doing. And when water gets in here, it drains right out. This, on the other hand, is a collar cut. And you can see that it collects water down in there. And with a red oak like this tree, 
that's a kind of dangerous thing. Yeah, I would never do it like this again. I did this one because I saw that video and I wanted to see if it was going to heal better, but there is absolutely no way I would do these. There's another flush cut right there. Yeah, they heal so much better. The more flush you are with the tree, the better it's going to heal. Okay. Yeah, I got to take a couple more off of this one. Got to take that one off. It's starting to go over the trail. And that one right there. You can see, I try to get as flush as possible with branches. But sometimes it's real hard to get to them. I'll be able to do that flush, but that one up there, I'll probably have to take it off like right like that because it's going to be real difficult to get at. Beautiful tree though, red oak. Okay, that's going to wrap up this video. I got a ton more videos coming up. One of them, I'm going to be de-rockifying the place again. I got a couple rocks in the road down there and a couple right through here. Got to pull those out. A lot of pruning videos coming up too, especially with that black oak right over there and a bit on this red oak right here. So if you want to see any of those, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comments section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.